This is CNN, the Cable Media Network. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of the, the Pen O'Clock News. News with Esbiri Brown and Gourmet Pens, where we discuss stuff that is relevant to pens and paper and ink and you. Ooh. That was really smooth. That was not rehearsed. Yeah, no, it wasn't even planned. It was just totally <coughs> made up on the spot. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to stop talking. It was uh, not a particularly sour week when it comes to pens, but what is sour is the new Lamy Nex, oh, which has... <laughs> which, which is called Citron, or Citron. I don't know what language we're supposed to put this well, in. Well, it is a German pen, so what Yes, would... but then it would be with Z. Well, Citrone. Well, that's fine. Citrone. Oh, anyway. What exactly it is, is this? It is a Lamy Nex. You know the Lamy Nex, maybe. I think it is aluminum an body, aluminum plastic body, cap. or aluminium if you prefer, with a plastic cap oh, in a go. whole bunch of colors. Uh, some of them have lanyard holes. Mm -hmm. You can put mm -hmm. them on a lanyard around your neck. They're fun, playful pens, and what I think a lot of people enjoy is that they have a similar section to the Safari, mm -hmm. except it's rubber clad. So if you really like rubber, or if you just like a softer grip, yeah. grip then I yeah. think it's a really nice pen. But it's it's really cute, it's a very nice pen, it's a very bright yellow cap, so I think it's very cheery, especially since it's so dreary out. It'll appeal to a lot of people, as well as children, I think. Not that children especially. are not people, but I mean... <laughs> Yeah. A lot of adults and children. And children. Nice. Uh, yes, it has, of course, the interchangeable nib system, meaning you can put anything from extra fine to broad, 1.1, 1.5, and 1.9 millimeter italics on them, even if even if you cannot purchase the pen with those. But they do interchange. You can put in this is the standard Lamy cartridges or a Z24 converter. Or a Z26 if you want a sexier converter. Or a Z24 or a Z26, that's also possible. And we, of course, uh, thank Fonto Plumo for uh, pointing out to us that this pen is going to be available. And providing and the images you see. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And of course, if you want one, you could pick one up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, um, this is not a fountain pen, but I could not not mention it because. I'm slightly obsessed with it. It is the Retro 51. It's the new Tornado in the limited edition Popper series. It's called Forever, which is really cute with a four. And it's um it's either a rollerball or a ballpoint, depending what refill you put in it. Personally, I use the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 ballpoint refills because I absolutely love them. Anyway. Oh, I'm so fancy. The Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. A very kind viewer, Robert, had sent me two refills ages ago to try. And ever since he introduced me to them, I fell in love with them. Irrelevant, because now we're talking about the forever. It has those, do you remember the candy hearts when we were little and they had like things written on them like kiss me, marry me, I love you, I hate you, that kind of stuff. Uh, they're printed on the barrel and then the barrel glows. It glows. Okay, limited to 365 pieces. Uh, it's, as I understand, in the US only, so if you are elsewhere and desperate like I am, you're gonna have to get one in the US. And, um, your favorite retailers will carry it, so who carry Retro 51. Anyway, I'm super excited about it because I like things that glow. And I really like Retro 51 pants. I'm gonna shut up now. Do we have to, did you mention the price? No, uh, they're usually about $35. Um, you know, you may find it a dollar, give or take here or there, but. And for that amount, you get a glow in the dark pen that says, I love you. Yeah, and it's also coming up on Valentine's Day. How cute would that be as a gift? <laughs> Is that a hint? No. All right, in other news... Fountain Aur pen news. Yes, so actual news. <laughs> Aurora has launched three new writing instruments. Actually, it's four. Actually, it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is four. Yeah, yeah. The and, pencil does count. The pencil does count. It is the Aurora Terra Aurea, uh, which is interesting. It's also called Minima. So it's Terra Aurea Minima from Aurora. That's a whole lot of A's. And these pens are very interesting, very green. They're uh, very green. Terra, Earth, uh, so Aurea. I thought sense. that was gold. So now it's gold Earth, but a green pen. Okay. In any case, the interesting thing is that uh, these are these are Aurora pens. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not on the cheapest end of the spectrum, no. but they are a limited production. So they will only be available 
for a limited amount of time. If you like green... And there's a limited amount of them, sorry. These are your pens. Yeah. Um, there are going to be 750 fountain pens, 999 ball points, 550 rollers, and 250 sketch pens. Which are really cute. They're kind of like teardrop elongated teardrops, anyway. But they're not really pens, but mechanical pencils, I'm guessing. Uh, I, yeah, with like that thick type of sketch lead. The really thick. I like that lead. kind of stuff. Anyway. Um, so pricing is 480 for the fountain pen, 270 for the ballpoint, 350 for the rollerball, 280 for the sketch pen. But 99 sets are made where you get all. But there are 1750. That's a lot of euros. euros. So that's definitely up there. However, if you're interested, you can get them. They have mm -hmm. so very nice green marble cap and barrel. They have chrome trims. Uh, as I said, if you like green, there are people who it is really a very vibrant green. Like colors, yeah. pens and spe pens in specific colors. I think this would really appeal to you. Yeah. Uh, and the set. Uh, that's the thing about the set. It mm -hmm. will have a jade on top. I guess on the, the finial, cap. right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Or, or um, on the clip, maybe. But in any yeah. case, there will be jade somewhere, which of course does add to the price, mm -hmm. because jade is not exactly come cheap. Mm -hmm. The founder pen has an 18 karat nib. Um, again, uh, we have to thank Fontaplume for uh, alerting us to the news and sending the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you can get them there. No, no, you can't. You will not be carrying these. No, we did say you could but special you can, order them. But you can special order them, so don't, yeah. Yeah, don't so go to the site and look for them. You cannot find them on the him. site, you have to contact yeah. Funk and tell him that you want the pens, and then he yeah. says, oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, sorry for that confusion. Anyway, on the, I would say, more affordable end, relatively in the world of fountain pens, um, Farney's Pens has a Conklin Mark Twain exclusive, and it's a crescent filler. Um, I think they're cute. Yeah, they have that nifty little, like, well, crescent. <laughs> um, so there is uh, the the interesting thing about them is that there's two there's two colors here. They do come in in a, a clear version and I believe a black. But the Farney's exclusive here will actually be coral and red, which, which I think is very pretty. Too. Yeah, the coral looks really nice. Also, nice timing coming up to Valentine's Day again. Should you want to get someone something Valentine's y colored? Anyway, I think they're cute. Um, they have resin barrels, but they have that um, like that chased hard rubber look to them, because like the wavy pattern on them, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, you could get in fine, medium, and stub, I believe. I don't think I, I didn't see anything else on Farney's site. Um, now, their the manufacturer's suggested price is one ninety five, but Farney's has them for like one sixty five. So I think that's that's not too terrible. It is a steel nib, um, and it's two-tone, so it, I think the the overall appearance of it is quite is quite well planned out, and it's got the cute little crescent filler, and it's got a cute little crescent-shaped breather hole, and it's intended to be a replica of the pen that Mark Twain, the original one, he used, and apparently he very much promoted it, liked yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. He was a big, he was inseparable of his... Uh... With his pens? From his, with his, on his pens. Anyway, I think the coral is really cute. The red is also very nice, but the coral is just a little more exciting for me. Now, uh, what's very fascinating, I think, is that you have a, a modern pen with a crescent filler, because yeah. you, you do, that's not a yeah. very common filling system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also don't know if it's the most practical filling system, but it's definitely a fun filling system. Wow. It's, definitely it's easier than a lever. Yeah. And Instead it's, of, you know, if you have... It's, like it's a conversation piece, I would say, because you mm -hmm. don't see that. Especially day. in the bright colors. Yeah. So uh, check so out Farney's pens for that. Pretty nice. Um, well, that that wraps up our short news items, relevant news items for the week. And yeah. On what do you got going on on SBRE Brown? On SBRE Brown shall be the review. Is the review actually at this point of the uh, the limited production it was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, brown dark brown Caveco Sport mm -hmm. it is just a Caveco Sport like all others except it's in a deep dark rich brown if you're a Caveco Sport collector it's kind of cool it's kind of cool I mean they're affordable yes they are uh, they're and, cute they're pretty, uh, pretty easy this one them. shall be given away soon mm -hmm. so, so as I review it uh, yeah. we will set up a giveaway and you and can win uh, it you can win it so stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> on uh, on uh, my blog, I reviewed like new, new character coming. <laughs> I up reviewed here. this pen, the <laughs> Omas Omas My oh, Lord. Man. Oh man, the uh, Omas My Lord, and um, I picked this up at Pen Chalet. 
and I had I had been eyeing it for a while. I had it bookmarked, and then, you know, you got your Paragon and all that stuff, so I was jealous. And then it was stolen. It was not stolen. I thought about it. But anyway, uh, that review is up. Um, I think it's a beautiful pen, so check it out. And, and Yarko uh, Celluloid. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I don't know. Well, I think I've had a lot of uh, caffeine today. Sugar. So, also sugar. Lots of lots cookies. Of sugar. Lots of Lots of sugar. Uh, um, well, I think that wraps everything up in uh, from us. It does. I think we need to uh, uh, switch over to the professor who will give you the word of the week. All right. We hope to see you again next week. We wish you a very good night. Yeah. Good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are. Why not all three? And also a Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. Please like us if you like us. If you don't like us, then don't. Uh, don't dislike us. Well, you can dislike. Well, no, you can dislike us. You can also don't... just not watch the video. Okay. Anyway, thank you. And uh, if you're looking for serious image, it'll be up tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, it happened the other. Day. I don't know. Oh wait, one second. Is this on? I guess so. Anyway, so wait a minute, are you ready for this week's word of the week? Yes, yes. Okay, <clears throat> the word of the week is nib drought. Nib drought. It is that uncanny experience when you are writing and all of a sudden you notice that your pen has ceased to write. It has ceased to write. Very annoying. Very annoying. It happens and the only thing you can do is just pop it in the bottle of ink, fill it up again, and then the nib drought has ended. You see? It's very simple. That's the way you do it. Nib drought. It happens to all of us. Don't be ashamed. Just make sure you always have some ink with I you. I always carry an emergency ink supply in my top hat, along yes, with an quite. emergency well, packet of I hope this was useful. Salad. The word of the week. This was Professor Dr. Darkwin Danglebury, Chair of Penology at Cambridge University. And uh, I'll gladly see you again next time. Ta-ta! Windy up. Oh, that's rather unfortunate. I'm sorry.